All right, and for the overview on distributive property in, in Chapter 5, um, we're looking at the actual word distributive property. And distributive property is uh, you're distributing some information around, and it's always numbers. And there's a setup for it. And um, actually, if I was to multiply, let's say, 4 times 6, I would take the term out here and multiply it times the term inside, and I would get 24. Distributive is very similar to this. They take the outside term and they're multiplying it times, uh, let's say it's x here. So the two terms in here. So it's almost like double multiplying. So you would take this term out here and multiply it times the first one. Six, four times six is 24. And the second one times this, and it would be the coefficient of one, it would be plus four x. And because you cannot combine x's and numbers, you are done, and that's as simplified as it gets. So um, until you have just numbers, you can do something different. So let's do a different color. If I have 3 times 7 minus 5, and they want you to distribute, but really it's wrong because order of operations, we should be solving inside the parentheses, but they want you to distribute it, so we're going to do that. So 3 times 7, this term times that one is 21, and 3 times negative 5 would be negative 15, and if you look at that, you can simplify it and get 6. But, um, so that's double multiply or distributive, or you could actually do order of operations, because this is order of operations, and go inside here, you get 7 minus 2, 5 is 2, bring down the rest of the story, and 3 times 2 is 6. So either way works, but it's really order of operations when they are saying it's distributive. Thank you. Bye-bye.